Welcome to WITN News First Sunrise. I'm Lauren Smith. Well, members of the U.S. Coast Guard got an up-close look at exactly what a great white shark eats for breakfast. Time for this morning's Sunrise Scam Alert. A local police department is warning citizens about a phone call. The latest on travel conditions and preparations. Welcome to WITN News First Sunrise. I'm Lauren Smith. And standing by now with the latest on that weather authority alert. A sweet story out of Colorado this evening. One man turning his own personal pain and loss into a Christmas miracle for those in need. Today Today's Hollywood Minute has everything. Charlie Sheen, Dolly Parton, even Spider-Man. David Daniel has details. Wait, did they just say there's going to be another Spider-Man? <laughs> I think How would there possibly be another Spider-Man? Because there's been like a dozen already. So. I'm not complaining. Spider-Man is my favorite. <laughs> for many people, it's May 4th, and that probably means nothing. But for a lot of us, it's everything because it's Star Wars Day. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. Cox's went on as scheduled without Donald Trump. Fox News had an extra podium to the side the of the stage. So as today marks the first day for early voting for the primaries in our state, we wanted to talk a little bit more about a couple things that will be unique to this certain primary where firefighters responded to a report of a fire in a bathroom and they discovered this. Apparently Ooh. a woman melted her tub after she tried to barbecue a brisket in it. Our Toys for Tots drive continues today. Federal appeals court is set to examine whether county commissioners in North Carolina should be allowed to begin their meetings with Christian prayers. We're 100 days away now to the start of the 2016 Rio Summer Olympics. We're talking about kids and embarrassing things they do today. We just... We just needed a good laugh you know, today. There's Thought a lot you of might heavy news. Need it too. And you know how we all have those friends on Facebook that take it a little too far when it comes to the politics during this whole election season, and now you feel like you're going to need an anger management class. So we're talking about that. And what is the line when it comes to that? What is just posting your uh, informed opinion, and then what is you know, too much ranting. Iowa caucuses kicking off today. We thought it would be a good idea to brush up on how the Iowa caucuses actually work and what that process looks like. If you've been on social media at all in the past 48 hours, you've probably heard of this new app called Pokemon Go. It just came out on Thursday, but it's already being called a viral phenomenon. In fact, it's apparently about to surpass uh, apps like Tinder and even Twitter in usage. Wow. I, mean, I feel like you guys that are up this early might be a good judge of this. Do you ever go to Starbucks and you feel like you only got like five sips out of that coffee drink and there was a ton of ice in there or like too much foam or something? Well, these two people are suing Starbucks. Charlie, you know you live in the South when... <laughs> We have to post videos to prove that we got snow. Yeah, it, it, that was really a, a southern kind of snow event. How do you keep your kids mentally active during the summer so that they're good to go when the school year starts again? I don't know how y'all do it, but maybe some <laughs> of you know. Around 40%. Okay, cool. Sorry, Jim, I was too busy on my phone That's to really hear you right now. <laughs> Probably like how a lot of people at home right now are looking down on their phones, and doctors are saying if you occasionally feel neck pain, you could be suffering from a condition called tech neck. A dad with lightning fast reflexes makes a play to stop a bat from striking his son. And boy, did he score with this one. So, hundreds of Chick fil A's across the country are now taking part in an effort to get customers interacting with each other more while they dine together rather than being on their phones. So, they've put what they call cell phone coops on the tables. <laughs> and they give out free ice cream to families who all agree to put their cell phone in there during the duration of mealtime. Oh. So we're asking over on our Facebook page what you think about this. Since it is both Monday and tax day, we thought we'd try and help ease the pain by letting you know about some discounts and free stuff being offered because of the tax deadline. But it's just so new, and I think it's taking people to places maybe they don't usually go to. Sure. And I think it's, it's with any new app, it kind of, with so many people using it, it almost gives you a false sense of security. You know, when there's just the masses are using it. A little boy knocked over a Lego sculpture at this art exhibit. It was apparently worth around $15,000. And it had taken this lady like three days and three nights to put together. And of course, the exhibit had only been open for a little over an hour when it happened, when the Lego pieces went everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> so anyways, we're asking what's the most embarrassing thing that your kid or your kids have done in public? and Amanda Wilkstrom. So New York lawmakers are working to propose a bill that would allow authorities to use what's being called a textilizer, like a breathalyzer, but for distracted driving. That is magical. That is so, that was way too big of a bite, first of all, for me to want to talk on air. How do you think about it, Jim? They're a little still chewy. working through it? Yesterday was National Bacon Day, by the way, so we're a little day That's late. That's why we got these, obviously. <laughs> right. Tomorrow it's to collard greens and black-eyed peas, but today it's donuts. What, what a do great you guys day. think? I'm a big fan.
Oh, the yeah, bacon donut. The bacon donut. Lauren. Really good. Okay. I'm, you, I'm still kind of riding the fence on. Yeah, it. we I got. Think I like my bacon separate from the donut. <laughs> the donut is awesome. Right, right. And I'm going to be a frequent visitor. The bacon donut. It just jury's tastes still like me. an American <laughs> breakfast. You know, it you've does. got the maple syrup, yes. the bacon. She good just stuff. summed it all it's up for me. <laughs> well, yes. and what you make for dinner sometimes turns into a bigger story unto itself. Lauren Smith's life in the newsroom with that, Lauren. Yeah, hopefully not a story like this. So if you haven't seen this, you need to go over to our Facebook and check it out. This picture is disgustingly hilarious. This woman tried to barbecue a brisket in her bathtub. Uh, firefighters, this actually wasn't here, this was in Tennessee, but firefighters responded to a report of a fire in a bathroom. They discovered the brisket in the bathtub. And apparently, even the water from the bathtub, the barbecue water, had started seeping into the neighbors down below. So, just like, just why? <laughs> <laughs> We're asking you our question of the day is what's the biggest cooking oops that you've ever committed or the biggest fail that you've ever had? I've had a few. Of the day? Do we look alike today? <laughs> yeah, we, okay, we or have a day? little bit of announcement. Drum roll, please. <laughs> We're not actually twins. Or even We're sisters. We're not even sisters. <laughs> Despite popular belief, <laughs> <laughs> but it is National Lookalike Day. Who Boy, knew, right? Got Santa that's going to be there in the Santa! parade. Santa! I know him! I know him! Santa Claus! Santa Claus! Santa Claus! Santa Claus is coming to town! Santa Claus is coming to town! Santa Claus is coming to town! Buddy, wait, tell it. Santa. Wait, so should the kids have their list ready? There's also so much else to do there. And one of the things being the car show. Yes, Daryl yes. Passer heads it up, and y'all are still actually looking for cars to register, right? What all is going to be happening tonight? Lauren, we are so excited to kick off the first Pirate Weekend. So I'm here with some D.H. Conley High School students and the cast of High School Musical. They're putting on the play this weekend. It's a, always a fan favorite. And we've got student director Haley Bronzino here. Haley, that's a big responsibility. I'm sure a fun one. What can the audience expect this weekend? Yeah, I didn't even notice he didn't have one of his legs until you said that. He's very lively and I mean, he really, you and never he's a know. Beautiful, beautiful cat. Good morning, everyone. I'm here with our teacher of the week, Jennifer May, with Pitt County Schools Early College High School. And Jennifer, you went to ECU, go Pirates. Back yes. in 2004, you got a communication degree. Mm -hmm. um, and then you went back to school in 2010 to get to become a math teacher. How does yeah. that happen? Well, when I was working at Grady White Boats with my public relations degree, I realized the part that I really liked the most was the training aspect mm -hmm. and organizing the classes and leading them and teaching the kids, well, not kids, the big kids, I guess. And um, I guess that's just when God was saying, this is what you really need to be doing with your life. So went back to school, was pregnant with my first child at that point wow. in time, too. So it was interesting, but it was so much fun, and it's definitely been worth it. Yeah, okay, and so you've been a teacher for six years now mm -hmm. at this school for, this is uh, the first year yes. for this school to be open. Mm -hmm. um, now the student who nominated you said that she never gives up on us and that your teaching style is fun, and it, it makes it so that the students never want to leave the classroom. For math, that's... <laughs> That's saying something. What, right. is, what is your teaching style? How do you um, do that and change their attitude when it comes to math? Well, I love the challenge. Um, I think most students come into high school math, they're scared, they're apprehensive, they've had some sort of bad experience with math in the past, and they come in and my classroom's different. I think I'm probably one of the only math classrooms that have hammers and tape measures. Um, I let my kids experience how they're going to use math in the real world. So we go out and we lay foundations using properties of rectangles and um, to figure out some sort of problem that relates to social studies classes. So it's engaging, it's fun, it's not worksheets and quizzes. Yeah, much more hands-on. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, well, if you would like to nominate one of your teachers, you can always head over to TOTW at WITN.com or head over to our website. And Jim, I, teachers like this one that just kind of change your attitude about learning and make it fun and exciting, that's the way it should be. And I know we probably all have that one teacher that maybe gets us a little choked up when we think back on it and how they really encouraged us to keep going. And How much they impact our lives, yeah, no doubt, outside yeah, of our sure. parents.